Yellowstone eruption warning. We are closer to a super eruption. This is what a shocking statement was uh, recently made by an expert warning of Yellowstone activity. Sean Martin Express UK reports. The next Yellowstone super eruption is edging closer and according to experts who have revealed the true catastrophe which would ensue following an eruption. Now, we have also found recently an agreement that the United States has made with some countries of the Southern Hemisphere. This was back in 2004. It was a 10-year agreement that was supposed to be renewed in 2014 concerning the relocation of Yellowstone evacuees, people around Yellowstone. Uh, there would have been quite a huge number of people to be relocated. One of the countries in that agreement was supposed to be have been South Africa, but they rejected the agreement because of the demographic change that would take place. As we know, about 60% of Americans are uh, not Caucasian, and uh, that would have caused a demographic problem for South Africa. That was their reason. But there were other countries in the Southern Hemisphere that have become part of that agreement, by paying billions of dollars for that to take place, to relocate Yellowstone evacuees. Uh, most of us did not know that that agreement was in effect, but it is. Now going to this, the Yellowstone supervolcano is in Wyoming, the northwestern part, also stretching into Montana and Idaho. It's one of the world's most powerful supervolcanoes. It last erupted, uh, had a supervolcanic eruption 640,000 years ago. Actually, there was a double eruption that took place 130 years uh, apart. And there was another major eruption of lava 70,000 years ago, and they had another 80 eruptions since then. They were not super eruptions, though. Here we're talking about super eruptions. One expert is warning that the next major super eruption is close, and according to the United States Geological Survey, USGS, the chances of a Yellowstone eruption on a yearly basis is around 1 in 730,000. That's the statistics on that that they're giving. With 640,000 years having passed since the last major super eruption, Yellowstone is edging closer to exploding, but it could still be thousands of years away. Journalist Brian Walsh wrote in his new book titled End Times, it explores the ways in which life on Earth could come to an extinction level event, in other words, to a stoppage. He says we're closer to Yellowstone's next super eruption than we are distant from it, but that day, should it come, is still likely tens or even thousands, hundreds of thousands of years away. But when that day does come, there would be chaos across the United States with repercussions being felt, of course, all around the world. Walsh wrote that earthquakes around Yellowstone would gradually increase in both frequency and intensity as the magma rushed towards the surface. Suddenly the magma would explode like a champagne bottle covering a region in lava with a 40 mile radius and that would only be the beginning of the destruction. Walsh wrote, Yellowstone as we know it would cease to exist but the true existential threat would come from the ash and the lava, the volcanic gases that would shoot upwards with a force equal to thousands of Hiroshima-sized nuclear bombs sufficient enough to reach the height of 15 miles or more. Now we know on a regular basis, if you see one of my uh, videos today, that on a daily basis Yellowstone emits volcanic gases. One of the ways they found that there was a huge reservoir underneath the magma chamber the magma reservoir under the magma chamber was because of the amount of carbon dioxide released from Yellowstone supervolcano on a daily normal basis. It's not super erupting, it's not even erupting, it's just a normal day on a daily basis. Yellowstone emits 45,000 tons of carbon dioxide every day. 45,000 tons of carbon 
dioxide, CO2, every day are uh, emitted into the atmosphere by Yellowstone. Of course, we know that this has to take place. Volcanoes actually do a favor to life on Earth because they warm our planet, just like the uh, glaciers cool up our various areas. It's also the volcanoes that warm up our planet by filling it with CO2 in order to, if we didn't have that, we would be a globe of ice. So that's what happens on a daily basis is 45,000 tons a day. Now, depending, uh, Walsh says, on the prevailing weather systems, much of the Midwest in a super eruption would receive a few inches of ash, which would fall like black rain, and it would plunge the region into darkness of call. Of course, this is what we call a volcanic winter or a nuclear winter. U.S. volcanologist Larry Mastin feels that the ash cloud could umbrella over much of the United States. Mastin told Walsh, what Yellowstone could produce looks almost like a hurricane, something that is almost continental in size. Now, if Wyoming volcano were to erupt, an estimated 87,000 people would lose their lives immediately and two-thirds of the U.S. would be made uninhabitable because of the ash. The large spew of the ash in the atmosphere would block out sunlight and, of course, directly affect life beneath it with the volcanic winter, the nuclear winter. Now, alarm bells should not start ringing just yet because USGS reports that the chances of Yellowstone erupting is tiny. It's a fraction of a percent. It's 0.00014 percent. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.